I had a conversation today with a friend who talked about how hard his 50s were. He's about to turn 60, and he's really looking forward to that next phase. Now, for those of you who follow me, you know that when I turned 50 seven years ago, I made a proclamation that I was going to make age 50 to 75 the best years of my life. And it worked really well for the first five years. I, I started trying new things. I experienced things I'd never experienced before. I faced my fears. I reassessed who I was and, and tried to become just a more chill person and, and tried to be more easygoing. And I really felt like I was making great progress. In fact, I would say from 50 to 55 were some awesome times. My, my career was going really well. Everything was kind of lining up. And then the pandemic hit and it wiped out my, my business. Financially, it was a really hard three years because I wasn't making the income I had been used to making. And while I had had an emergency fund, it wasn't three years worth of an emergency fund. And so we found ourselves bouncing along, doing some things. Then I took a job and there were a lot of problems with that job and a lot of things I didn't expect, things I wasn't told before I took the job. And it really put me into a really bad place. And over the last year plus, it, it's been the hardest times of my life. So I look back to my 50th birthday when I declared I was going to make age 50 to 75 the best years of my life. I've had some of that. And I've also had some of the worst times of my life. And so what I've learned is that no matter when, what stage, what season you're in in your life, you cannot, you cannot just proclaim things are going to be great. You're going to have to face the ups and downs that everybody does. However, I'm learning how to deal with those rough times and actually realize that I'm going to learn from them. I'm going to be stronger when I get to the next phase of my life, when I get to hopefully next year. I'm going to be able to look back and say, hey, I'm glad I went through those hard times because it, it really got me ready for that next phase of life. Now, I think that that second half, that 50 to 75 and beyond, really should be filled with joy. But sometimes if you don't have enough money saved or like me, you get derailed by something that was out of your control that can really cause a lot of stress, you've got to realize that you're not the only one going through it. You have to develop that self-talk to yourself that reminds you of the good things that have happened before. I'd had a pretty good life, and I got really focused the last year on just how everything was spiraling and things weren't going well. My finances, my relationships, my career, et cetera, everything just felt like this pressure was on. But as I'm crawling my way out, I'm realizing that maybe what I've been through can help other people. So that's why I'm trying to leave some video evidence of what it's like to try and go through this later stage of life, how to reinvent yourself when you're in your 50s and eventually your 60s and 70s, because life shouldn't be miserable. Life shouldn't suck. You shouldn't be stuck in a spiral. And if you're feeling alone, realize that there are other people out there who are really feeling the same way and try to connect with some of those people in your life. You know, Who are the people in your life who need you right now? One of the things that's helped me a lot through the really hard times is being there for other people who are going through their own rough times, mentoring somebody or just having good friends who you can sit around with and talk to. I mean, that's important. But some people tell me they don't feel like they have any friends. In fact, there was a survey that came out recently that said 15% of men, 10% of women in North America claim they don't have any close friends. And I'm reminded that if, if you want to have friends, you've got to go be a friend. And so I'm trying to get out there and, and to be a friend to people because I want some new, fresh friends, and I want to keep the relationships alive with my old friends. I'm finding that life is never going to be easy. You can't proclaim your way to happiness. However, you can face on the good times, the bad times, and when you don't have to do it alone, it's that much better. I'm coming up with a whole list of things and really chronicle, uh, creating a chronicle of everything that I've been through the last few years. And when I start helping other people through these 50s and 60s, I'm going to have a game plan all in place that's going to help people get to that next stage. And if you're suffering and you're watching this, go talk to somebody, get a therapist, have some friends. Don't try to face all of it alone because you'll just start spinning and, and the voices in your head can really, really suck. Anyway, I don't know that I had a purpose when I started this video other than to say, if you're watching this, you are not alone. We all go through bullshit. And there's a lot of people out there, especially if you follow like Instagram influencers and 
you know, people who are coaches and things like that, they put out there how great everything is for them. They're suffering too. Don't kid yourself. Everybody has shit in their life. And when you have to face it, you just have to figure out what do I need to do to get through it? Because it's different for you than it's been for me, but don't try to do it alone. Have a good day.